Hi, I'm Amy Beecham, and I'm the Communications Director at the Krauss Agency. Today, we're going to discuss the importance of being active online. As an agent, you are responsible for marketing yourself and your business. One of the best ways to do this is to create an online presence that's easy for your audience to review, assess, and engage with. Having a professional and functioning website is extremely important. A website acts as an e-brochure that's open to the public. You should include information about you, your products and services, and how to work with and get in contact with you. We know that obtaining a polished website can be expensive, but there are cost-effective, easy-to-use options you should be looking into, such as Squarespace or Wix. that will produce the result you want, eyes on your page, learning about what you have to offer. Beyond marketing yourself, having a website is important simply to validate yourself. When a prospective client hears your name, they're going to go straight to Google. If they can't find you, you will lose credibility. Having a website with verifiable contact information goes a long way in these situations. On your website, make sure you're updating items regularly. Consider creating a blog to share financial planning tips or news articles that may be relevant to your audience. First, doing this helps promote you as a helper. You're willing to share your insight with your audience, even if they aren't a client yet. Second, it promotes the fact that you actively manage your site, meaning you're actively engaging in your business. If your website is stale, it might have the same effect as no website at all. In addition to your website, make sure you're on social media. In today's day and age, social media is a must. You must be active on major platforms such as Facebook and LinkedIn. You can also consider Instagram and Twitter if you feel you can appropriately manage them all. Again, you don't want your online presence to go stale. Plus, these platforms are a great place to share the content from your website, such as blogs and news articles. Because there's so much to consider when tackling social media, be sure to check out our other video on the subject called Using Social Media to Your Advantage. We also touched briefly on the fact that your clients will likely Google search you. Assuming your website is up and running, go ahead and Google yourself to see what comes up. If it's your website and your social media pages, then you're in good shape. If not, consider implementing a search engine optimization, or SEO, strategy to boost your ranking. There are also online tools, both free and paid, to help you learn more about SEO and its effect on your website. Regarding other things that might pop up on Google searches, if there are any unprofessional posts on your personal social media accounts, be sure to take those down. Even one picture or post that a client doesn't like could mean the end of business with them and any referrals they may bring you. Also, keep an eye out for any negative reviews you see online. Prospective clients use reviews from other people to determine if that agent or business is credible, reliable, and is worth their time and money. You may also be able to respond to those reviews to show that you truly care about the client and try to remedy the situation. If you have questions about maintaining your online presence and how to succeed in your business, contact our office at 855-992-5922. I'm Amy Beecham, and thanks for watching.